Welcome to this video on protecting your shared documents in Microsoft OneDrive. So we're going to have a look at all of the different functions and options available where you can lock down anything you might need to share. And you can do this from anywhere that you can action, access OneDrive. So I am in OneDrive at the moment, but remember on the left hand side in Microsoft Teams, you've also got OneDrive there. And when you click on the three dots next to any item that you want to share, then you'll see the same options as well. So this just allows you to comfortably share any documents, but keep that control, especially if it's private and confidential. So let's have a look at how to do this. So I'm gonna go into my data file and I'm gonna click on the three dots and I'm gonna to go to share. I always click on the three dots, but there is a share option there as well. But sometimes that is not visible. So I just think three dots is gonna give you much more ease across any of the applications. So the first place I'm going to go to decide how I want to secure my document that I'm going to share is clicking on the candidate. You can see I can share a document that is fully open. This is really great if you're collaborating with people, you want people to add value to edit what you've done and all of that great stuff. I can though just share a viewable document so people can have a look, they can have a review, they can add comments to it that I can see, but they can't actually physically change anything on that document. So it's nice and protected. If it's, a re if it's really private or sensitive, then you can also select can't download as well. So this is even, even more protected. So it is viewable, but the user can't download it. So it's as protected as it possibly can be. So you've got some really nice options there. Think about why you're sharing your document, what you want that person to do with it or people, and then you can define exactly how you want to protect your document. There is a couple of other options as well, and these do appear in this cog just to the right of the copy link option. And they're down at the bottom. So right down the bottom there, you can see again, you have the edit, view, or cart download option. So you can define those as those there as well. But there's also two more options here. One's a newer option. So the newer option is to set an expiration date on this. So you can define whether it's editable, whether it's viewable, whether it's downloadable. And then you can also set an expiration date on this link as well. So after that time, this link will not work for that user unless you share a brand new link. So it stops them from having access. If you've got a deadline and you're working with a group of people on a document, you want all the feedback in by, let's say, Friday, then you can set an expiration date of the Friday or the Saturday. And then after that, it's either it's been signed off, you don't want anyone accessing it, or you want to make changes and get approval and sign off at that point as well. So let's say next Friday can see it expires at that point. So at that point, the link expires and it then protects that document. And finally, at the bottom, you've got the option to set a password as well. You will need to provide the password password to other people. But again, it just stops anyone accidentally getting the link. If you just send in a generic link rather than sharing it directly with people. And remember, sometimes they might share a link as well with other people that you might not know about if you're sharing just a link. So be really careful about which option you're gonna use as well. And if you're using this within a business, some of your options might have been turned off anyway. In one of the businesses I work with, I cannot share outside of my business. So it locks down some of the things I can do and protects some of my documents anyway, depending on where you are and what that is. If I ever have to set a password for something, I will always type it out into a sticky note or into a into wherever I'm going to share it, an email or something, then I'll copy and paste it into this field or anywhere else, just so I know that I absolutely get the right password. And then I can share it with other people as well. And I won't forget about it. So make sure when you create that password, it is also somewhere else that you can go back and refer to. And it will just give you. Now, I have put the word password in there. You cannot see it, but you can see it's super, super weak because that's not going to work. You can see I've got a few. I put um, I just put some numbers in there and it's giving it a good. 
Let's also put a couple of special characters in and it's even stronger. But you can't see what's going on there. So it's really useful to write it out somewhere else and then just copy it in or you can copy and paste it in and then you've got it ready to share with whoever you're going to send this link to. So you have some really great options to protect your documents when you're sharing them from OneDrive. So I would really use this as a tool rather than sharing your documents directly on things like email by attaching them and stuff like that. And it just really helps for you to keep some of that control, especially if they are private and confidential. And remember this works directly in OneDrive or OneDrive from Microsoft Teams or anywhere where you're sharing a document that is sat in your OneDrive. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let us know what videos you'd like us to record next.